But we begin this afternoon with the FBI raiding the homes of two Detroit City Council members and the Coleman A. Young Municipal Center. Thank you for joining us for 7 Action News at 5. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. At the center of this portion of the investigation, Councilwoman Janae Ayers and Councilman Scott Benson. Federal investigators were seen at the Coleman A. Young Municipal Center this morning walking out with boxes. Chopper 7 over Benson's home as the feds were raiding that home. And this comes just weeks after Detroit Councilman Andre Spivey was arraigned on federal charges, accused of taking tens of thousands of dollars in bribes over the course of four years. He's pled not guilty. Former council member Gabe Leland admitting to misconduct in office, accused of taking $7,500 in exchange for his vote on a land deal. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig telling us what the FBI is saying as the investigation takes a new turn. The citizens of Detroit have a right to a city government that is free of corruption. And to get their FBI agents and officers from the Public Corruption Task Force executed search warrants at Detroit City Hall and several other locations, including the homes of two members of City Council. The home of 39-year-old Janae Ayers on the city's west side and the home 51-year-old Scott Benson shares with his wife on Detroit's east side. I want to make clear that no one is being charged today. Um, simply what we're doing today is collecting evidence and which will be presented to the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Eastern District of Michigan. And prosecutors in the U.S. Attorney's Office will make a determination on what, if any, charges are issued. Just last month, another council member, Andre Spivey, was charged with conspiracy to commit bribery. Details in that case alleged Spivey and another public official accepted over $35,000 in bribe money tied to votes on city council. Earlier this year, now former Detroit City Councilman Gabe Leland pleaded guilty to misconduct in office after prosecutors accused him of accepting bribes in exchange for his votes on a land deal. Question now is what if any evidence could bring down two more members of council in a city that has seen more than its fair share of corruption. I would urge anyone with information on public corruption matters both here in the city of Detroit but also throughout Michigan to please contact the FBI. And coming up on Action News at 6 o'clock, what one council member says needs to happen to help ensure ethical behavior of public servants. On Detroit's east side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you. Detroit City Council has been plagued with controversy for more than a decade. And we already mentioned the corruption case involving Spivey and Gabe Leland. In November of 2016, Charles Pugh was sentenced to at least five and a half years in prison after pleading guilty to criminal sexual misconduct. And in 2010, Monica Conyers sentenced to 37 months in prison on bribery charges. We will stay on top of this story and bring you the very latest developments on air and online. 